really is a people person. He's very outgoing. I really think of someone who, in the best of intentions, I say, has made it. Charlie has an absolute passion for his work and his life and his family. Well, the first characteristic that comes to mind for me as his brother um, is the fact that he's unflappable. Um, Charlie is the type of individual that really, you, you try as you might, you simply cannot get under his skin. Even though we've worked like together <clears throat> in a professional sense, at this point in time, I really think of him as my friend. When I was a teenager, I actually invested in the stock market and I opened up an account with a company called Canarin. And I dealt with, with a, a broker at the time who taught me a lot about what not to do to make it in the business. I learned that the market was a lot more complicated than it looked on the surface. When I decided to get into business, I was interviewed by all the firms. I first met Charlie over 25 years ago. He walked into my office, he had hair that looked like Michael Jackson, and he was five foot three. And I wondered, how is this guy ever gonna succeed with the River Heights and Tuxedo crowd? At the time, Wood Gundy was alone without the CIBC, and I picked Wood Gundy as the firm to work for because they would send us off to Toronto to be trained for almost a year and then bring us back. And at that time, when I was in my mid-twenties, I thought that, what a great company. They're gonna pay me for a year, send me to Toronto, train me, come back. I thought any company that would make that kind of investment in their employees would be a good company to work for. In the very early stages of, of his career, uh, worked really hard, put in lots of hours, firstly in Toronto and then in Winnipeg, and now finally has succeeded with a, a very significant uh, client base in his, in, his, uh, in his field. When I'm sitting in front of a client, not only are they trusting me with their money, but they also know that there's a firm behind what I do that is a Rock of Gibraltar name. It's a solid firm, they're committed to our business. So as far as CIBC is concerned, CIBC means a lot to my business. They've been behind what I do, they've supported me from every, from every angle, and they've been good to me and my clients. So I'm very happy and very proud to be part of uh, an organization that's owned 100% by the CIBC group of companies. You should know that before he, he began uh, in his current line of business, he sold tobacco products and, uh, and chain link fencing. And, and this is coming from someone who's uh, never smoked and wouldn't know what to do with a hammer. Charlie also enjoys a tremendous relationship with his colleagues at the CIBC and is always there to assist them in managing their business and helping their clients. Learn to treat my clients the way I treat my family. I treat my assistants the way I treat my family and I have a fantastic team that uh, I think has contributed huge to my uh, success as an advisor at CBC Wikendi. Uh, we have a fairly large extended family and one of the things that Charlie's able to do is keep in touch with uh, the entire extended family both here and in Italy. <laughs> and, but uh, more importantly, uh, my aunts and uncles are getting on in age and he, he tends to have the ability to continue to visit them support them through their illness when they're in and out of the hospital he's always the one that's there he's supporting them he has a tr just a tremendous family commitment for a number of years he's been a supporter with his time and effort uh, helping youth for uh, youth at risk uh, at the pan am boxing club the boxing club itself provides a place for inner city youth to train and charlie through his commitment through the club, assists in ensuring that they have the funds to allow them to do that. He has a tremendous uh, commitment to the church, to St. Paul's High School, so he's fairly involved um, in the community at large. There's no doubt in my mind that Pina is the brains of the operation. She's a wonderful woman who supports him at every turn. He is really a very devoted family man. He's also a, a hands-on father, or dad. I read something somewhere that said, uh, an overnight success takes 20 years and I think that's very solid and very true. And during those 20 years, it's not just about the person going out there building a business or practice, it's about the people around them, which also includes the family you have at home. Uh, my wife was a huge part of my success, you know. She, uh, she supported me right from the beginning and in the first five to ten years, I was never home for dinner. You know, I, I, was, I was at the office six days a week, I took one day off. Things have changed because I can afford support staff that allows me a lot of flexibility now. But during those early years, if you don't have that type of support, it's very hard to build a business in our industry and a successful one. My son was born, my oldest was born in 1990. His name's Peter. My daughter was born in 94. She's Samantha. And my little guy's named Franco. He was born in 1997. But it's really funny because I had already been in the business almost, uh, well, three or four years by the time Peter came along. And uh, 
one of my clients called me at home to uh, congratulate me that I had a son and, and he said to me, you better enjoy him because he, he says, you know, time's going to fly and before you know it, he's going to be going to university. And, I, and when, while I was talking to my client, I had been home, Peter had been home four days and I was in sweats, I hadn't slept for four days and I had Peter on my knee. And I'll never forget this because this client of mine, Fomi, is an out of town client. And I looked at Peter and he had been screaming all night. And I said, there's no way this kid's ever going to university. It seemed like a million years away. And today, Peter is going to university. Actually, now he wants to be a corporate lawyer. I tried to talk him out of that, but uh, he's intent on going into law. I said, come into my business or be a doctor. My daughter's at St. Mary's and my little guy's waiting to see if he gets into St. Paul's next year. And they're, they're all involved in sports and dance and they have a very busy outside school life, which I'm very proud. We have one meal as a family every day. And during that meal, we shut off cell phones, take phones off the hook, and the stuff that comes out around the table is just amazing. First, first five minutes, nobody wants to be there, and then we're sitting down for an hour to two hours, and then everybody's gone, and I don't see them until the next day. My family's been a great motivator for me because I want to provide for my kids and give them the opportunities and options that I didn't have. I congratulate you, and I congratulate the Sons as well as the association for having selected you. Charlie, congratulations, good luck, and all the best. Congratulations, Charlie. You certainly deserve this. Charlie, congratulations on being the recipient of the Chiba Award in 2011. You've always been a champion of Winnipeg, of Canada, and the Italian community. Well done, partner. The award means a great deal both uh, to your immediate family and your extended family, uh, from Tam and myself and Michele, Luca, Adriana, and Karina, my four children. We want to congratulate you. It's a great achievement, and you've represented the family uh, very well. Thank you. I just want to take this opportunity to thank the Sons of Italy for this great honor that they bestowed upon me. I, I was really uh, surprised when uh, Lou and Justin uh, called me to go for breakfast and, uh, and told me that what their intentions were. The first thing I said, I thought, I, I thought they made a mistake and I said, with all these uh, other options here in town, are you guys sure? And they both laughed and, uh, and said, no, this is something we want. So. I really want to thank the Sons of Italy, the Garibaldi Lodge. Uh, this is a great honor and uh, I uh, can't say enough on how grateful I am for this. Sons of Italy is proud to present the 2011 CIBPA Professional Award to Charlie Aiello.